I remember the last McDouble I had. I had bought it, and I got it from the drive-thru, and I was driving home, and I just got through the light, and I took a bite out of it as I was waiting in the light, and I looked down while I was driving through the drive-thru, and I looked at what the burger looked like, and I told myself, this is the last one. And that, that was the year 2010. And that was the last one. Do I hate McDonald's? <laughs> was McDonald's trying to kill me? Well, yeah, but I mean, that, that, that wasn't personal. It's just what they do. Um, no, I still go to McDonald's all the time. But I just think the burgers suck. Big changes are coming to McDonald's. We're going to watch this right now, actually. This is very important. This is my area of expertise. <laughs> McDonald's. If you're worried that your McDonald's experience isn't sufficiently cheesy, saucy, or powered by artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. don't worry. This icon of fast food has some exciting news for you in 2024. McDonald's has recently been plagued by reports of soggy, moist, and even disintegrating buns. Some yep. have blamed over squishing by employees. And like, you know, bro, like you can feel the sesame seeds and like they don't like if you look at a McDonald's burger, the bun, the sesame seeds and the bun are the same thing. They might as well have just been 3D printed on there. But like if you go to Burger King, you can actually press the sesame seeds through the bun and it won't just melt into it. Like, Burger King burgers clear McDonald's by a fucking mile. He's as the cause. While others think there's Look at too this. much... Bro, like, this is... Like, th this is the kind of shit, bro, like, you see this? Like, I don't have a dating app, okay? But if I did, I feel like this is what I would feel like whenever you meet somebody versus their profile picture. Like, this is it right here, guys. This is what I took a look at in 2010, and I just told myself never again. Juice soaking in while the buns sit that. for too long in the kitchen. Whatever the explanation yeah. for this problem, it simply cannot be ignored. Yeah. Thankfully, it appears that McDonald's heard these cries That's and right. responded accordingly. Customers can expect some major upgrades to the bread so that it will sufficiently hold their beefy, cheesy... The problem is that the burgers don't have a good taste. And also, in my opinion, I think too much cheese is added to the burgers. They are cooked in a way that removes the... And I, I'm, not a, I'm not a chef. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? But, like, they are cooked in a way, to me, that removes the way that it feels whenever you eat meat creations. Brioche buns with sesame seeds and a pleasant, light toast will be implemented across all locations, thus creating a much more enjoyable and less squishy bite. Since basically everyone knows how much of a difference a quality bun can make, it's obvious yeah. that we can all expect an enhanced eating experience at McDonald's in 2024. So if you've somehow never before indulged in one of the chain's savory cheeseburgers or McDoubles, mm -hmm. this will be the perfect year to start. The Big Mac has always come with sauce, but apparently not enough for everyone. Requests for extra sauce on the signature burger have been echoing through employees' headsets for quite a while. And while some requests have been successful, not everyone has been so lucky. As one customer complained on Reddit, when I order a Big Mac, I ask for extra slash double sauce. I get refused on the basis that there is no way for them to ring that up for me. Thankfully- Which is like, that's just the way it is. And they started doing this, you know, whenever they started doing this, 2002? Because back before 2002, you could go up to the up to the counter, and if you ordered McNuggets and you wanted another thing of sauce, you would say, "Can I get a thing of barbecue sauce?" And they would just like literally get a handful of things of barbecue sauce, and they would just give them to you. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way it used to be, guys. It seems that a light bulb has finally lit up at McDonald's HQ. If people yeah. want extra Big Mac sauce with every order, why not just make more of it a standard recipe in the first place? Smart. I think you may have something here. <laughs> and so, in 2024, our culinary dreams will become a reality, as the celebrated Big Mac sauce will be spread much more generously throughout the layers of the company's most famous burger. I've never the had a Big Mac in my life. The idea of ha eating three buns at the same time with two burgers, this just, just looks disgusting to me. I wouldn't want this.
This very special condiment is considered yeah, one I've of McDonald's best kept secret recipes, and the increased quantity That's will right. almost surely improve this world famous burger. McDonald's has a plentiful array of popular mm -hmm. burgers on its menu, but they're far from immune to criticism. In fact, there have been numerous occasions in which the beef has come under fire. As one person sarcastically quipped on Reddit, if you take a little of the meat, let it cool, and then eat it on its own, the flavor is surprising. It tastes of absolutely nothing. But It's just not good, bro. Like, there it is. Like, look at that. You know what that looks like? That looks like a flaccid... You know... Like, it's just, it just looks nasty. It doesn't look good. It ain't meat. No, it, it's not even, it's not even that it's not meat. It's just not that good. But we have some good news for that Reddit user and for similarly minded beef lovers. Yeah. In 2024, McDonald's customers can expect the death of bland patties as the chain will infuse a much deeper flavor profile with the addition of some very special guests on the grill. Yes, it's true. The Golden Arches will reportedly be adding their signature diced onions to the meat while it's still searing to infuse some tasty caramelization. We bet your mouth. Well, they've got to do something different because like if you go to Shake Shack, it, the burgers are just way better. If you go to Burger King, the burgers are way better. I think In-N-Out has better burgers. Five Guys has way better burgers. They're watering just thinking about that little extra burst of complexity those onions will bring to some of the world's favorite cheeseburgers. While McDonald's may be a burger joint at its core, mm -hmm. red meat isn't the only thing frying up in their kitchens. It goes without saying that some of the chickens. chain's poultry offerings are just as beloved as their beefy colleagues. The nuggets. In fact, McDonald's itself reported in 2023 that its chicken menu has grown to become equal to its beef one. The yep. McCrispy sandwich in particular is one of the most popular chicken items. McDonald's plans to capitalize on this by spreading its availability worldwide until it's featured on nearly every menu at every location. There are also wraps and chicken and tenders currently being developed as eventual menu newcomers considering the uproar over discontinuation well the thing is like with the chicken like i would love if mcdonald's could serve mashed potatoes because like that would actually get me to go to mcdonald's more like there's something really special to me about mashed potatoes and chicken how many of you guys How many of you guys like grew up in the U.S. and you had the chicken tenders and mashed potatoes with the roll meal in public school? Hell yeah, right? And it was fucking delicious. You would take the chicken tenders and you would, you know, put it in the mashed potatoes and you'd eat it together. Bro, that was delicious. It was so fucking good. And so, yeah, if McDonald's had that, like I go to KFC pretty regularly. The, the famous bowl KFC did is one of the best fucking ideas they ever had. ...of the chain's chicken-based snack wraps a few years back, we anticipate that customers will be more than excited about these upcoming arrivals. Mm -hmm. I'm so freaking excited! <laughs> yep. Let's face it, a cheeseburger doesn't really feel like a cheeseburger if that slice on top isn't sufficiently good and melted between the buns. Alas, it appears that McDonald's has been falling behind in this area in recent years. As one customer bemoaned on Reddit, why doesn't McDonald's melt the cheese on their burgers anymore? I remember back- What do you mean by anymore? Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, the cheese would be so warm and glued the burger to the wrapper. Now it's cold cheese on a semi-warm patty. What happened? Yeah, they got rid of the grill and they started using a microwave. They use a microwave for the meat and they use a blow dryer for the cheese in late 90s and early 2000s that the cheese would be so warm it glued the burger to the wrapper i don't now know about that bro like it always was like this like in my opinion it's like uh, i'm gonna be real like I, back in like the 2000s it was still like this like it's just that like i just had way lower standards like i just didn't really care but like now whenever i see it i'm like ah, fuck this right and so yeah, it's always been bad but yeah it could definitely be a lot better it's cold cheese on a semi-warm patty mm -hmm. what happened Thankfully, McDonald's is keenly aware of the issue, and they already have a plan in place for fixing it. Reportedly, cheese that has already been brought to room temperature yeah. will be used on all burger creations starting in 2024, as opposed to slices pulled straight from an icy refrigerator or cooler. This way, the slices will be- That's what they were be... doing? That's dumb as fuck. Why'd they, why they ever do that? Much more likely to melt yeah. completely during the cooking process, making these burgers the gooey masterpieces That's crazy. Why'd that they, they were always meant to be.
No matter where you are on planet Earth, it often feels like there's a McDonald's on every street corner. And this sensation is far from a hallucination, as there yeah, are course. reportedly more than 40,000 McDonald's locations scattered across the globe. Well, the it, it's the most popular restaurant, as far as I know, in the whole world. Like, I don't know, maybe there's other ones that are more popular, like China, that I don't know about. But, like, I'm pretty sure McDonald's is number one. Majority of them are in the United States, yeah. China, Germany, France, and Japan. But those statistics may soon change. Subway? That's nah, because no the company way. has reportedly really? begun to orchestrate Never an ambitious that. plan of adding even more golden arches to the rest of the world very soon. So don't be surprised if a few more McDonald's locations spring up near you in oh 2024. Boy. The franchise intends to erect approximately 10,000 additional restaurants over the next few years in an attempt to reach its goal of 50,000 total stores worldwide. If that, I will say that like I. I do take McDonald's looking to solve these problems as a legit thing. And I'll tell you why. How many of y'all have been to a McDonald's in the last two years where they have the double drive through where there's like two different places where they take your order? Am I, uh, I'm, have y'all seen this? Yeah, me. Bro, it's actually so good, right? Like, because like the ones that I've been to are actually like insanely fucking good. They are so fast. It's so fast. Like, and, and like, that's crazy, right? That like, they made an improvement and it just fucking works. It's like, what? Wait a minute. So you go to the drive-thru? Because I remember I would, I would go and get a Coke. I'm like, I'm like wow, you want to get a Coke at McDonald's? She's like, yeah. Like, All right, I'll be ready in five minutes. And we would go over there and we would sit in the drive-thru for 40 minutes. What are you doing, bro? Like 40 minutes. And you remember those, right, bro? I don't sit in the drive through for more than 14 minutes, usually less than four minutes. It was nothing. And so, like, it is nothing now. It's so fast. Just walk at that point. Yeah, exactly. 40 minutes for a Coke is insane. It is. That's how long I'd sit in the fucking drive-thru. And so, yeah. number sounds staggering. That's because it is. By comparison, uh -huh. Starbucks reportedly has 35,711 stores, according to data from Statista. Currently, McDonald's is the leading restaurant in the world by sheer number of locations. Wow. And if it manages to hit 50,000, it may just become basically impossible for any other chain to catch up. That's too much, man! <laughs> You might think that McDonald's would already have its hands full with the construction yep. of so many new locations in 2024, but they seem to have decided that one New Year's resolution wasn't quite ambitious enough. And so the company has also announced that well, it'll be- I'm gonna be go to one of these whenever, whenever it happens. Opening up a brand new cafe style restaurant called Cosmics. Yep. And one of them may very well be coming to a location near you in 2024. 10 Cosmics locations will open up on an experimental basis in select cities as they attempt to compete with large scale coffee chains such as Dunkin'. The so, like, basically, the, it, it's like you can't sit down. I feel like that's a big weakness because a lot of the reason why people like Starbucks is they like getting Starbucks and then sitting in Starbucks. I feel like there's like a whole group of people that does that. They sit on Starbucks with their fucking uh, Apple laptop, listening to their, you know, their AirPods and, and they're, you know, tweeting about how bad capitalism is, right? Or something like that. This is like what they do. And so if you can't go inside, like, I feel like you're losing a lot. Menu is set to include unique coffee drinks like churro frappes, refreshing fruity picks called Galactic Boosts, mm -hmm. and the chain signature McFlurries. Snackable foods will also be available for order, like the classic Egg McMuffin or new picks such as the creamy yeah. avocado tomatilla sandwich. Whether or not the likes of Starbucks will feel threatened by this new kid on the block remains to be seen. I However, don't really think so. Uh, I, I, I think that people that like going to Starbucks are going to keep going to Starbucks. It, it, it's, a, it's a different market. I feel like this is obviously, it's for people, because like Starbucks is like a little bit, I mean, there's a lot of people that drink Starbucks and think they're better than other people, right? Like nobody's going to go to Cosmics and think they're better than the people that go to McDonald's. All right, you just, I, I go to the coffee place, they go to the burger place, right? That's about it. 
And so I think that they're just searching for like that kind of like that middle audience that like really kind of isn't being served. All of McDonald's eggs are hardly in one basket. If Cosmix ends up flopping, the chain will probably manage to emerge mostly unscathed. Yeah, it doesn't Can matter. this fast food giant drive American coffee addicts to start saying, I'm loving it? Mm. Artificial intelligence seems like it's everywhere nowadays. This is what pisses me the fuck off right here. You want to see some kind of bullshit? Look how fucking small that thing is. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that shit? This is this at normal size? I'm talking about in America. In America, that's a fucking scam. And it's probably $7. And the majority of it is ice. This is ridiculous. Like, this is, guys... This is a medium. This is a medium drink. Artificial intelligence seems like it's everywhere nowadays. If you work yep. in cybersecurity or computer programming, it's probably already a normal part of your job. As it turns out, the restaurant industry is also utilizing AI in its day-to-day -day operations. Thank God. And McDonald's is among the eateries. Laying some I think Taco Bell started using AI too. Because you remember Taco Bell back in the t like the 20 2009? You go to get, bro. You just might as well be playing the lottery. <laughs> like, what's gonna be in that bag? Nobody knows, not even the people that put it in the bag. And so, like, now I go to Taco Bell, and they're like, okay, so you want a pinos and cheese and a large Pepsi with light ice. I'm like, yes. They're like, okay, that's going to be $5.32. Please pull up to the next window. Okay. And then I get the food, and it's the food I ordered. Wait, what? Is this supposed to happen? And I think it's AI. I really do. I think they're using AI on those fucking machines at Taco Bell. Groundwork with yeah. this rapidly expanding technology. There's no way the things change that fast. Has partnered up with Google Cloud to create an artificial intelligence system for McDonald's locations worldwide. Mm -hmm. The technology will be used to pinpoint problems for general managers, thereby allowing them to react quicker and provide That's solutions right. faster. Fire people. Should everything go according to plan, this system will serve to decrease the total amount of customer issues, order mishaps, and other disturbances. This isn't well, the first. Well, you should just get it to where like. I think that people should be able to order their own food from, like, a kiosk. And, like, they have this in, like, California. Like, if you go to a McDonald's, you can just put in the buttons and then you just get your food. And, like, they have a cashier there because it's, like, a transitionary period. But I bet in 20 years it's going to be like a lot of uh, grocery stores are now. Well, actually, I don't think that's the case. I think that actually grocery stores will have like, I think that you'll probably have an account and you can just walk out with the food and you'll be automatically charged in like 20 or 30 years because of some sort of technology that we can't comprehend right now. Like, I think that's actually what will end up happening. But um, like, at least until then, I think that you'll have kiosks. I'm that Amazon McDonald's has, has tried it? to implement oh, AI, and they're go. surely hoping that it goes better this time around. In 2022, the Daily Dot published an article about the chain's highly publicized attempt at creating AI drive through machines yeah. that didn't go so well. One man ended up with bacon no, in his ice No, 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 like... Ice cream, while another bacon customer... Bacon in his ice cream. Oh, wow, what a surprise. Like, you really tell me that, like... I think that basically, like, at the McDonald's that I go to... What they like to do is they like to have a thing where it's like every employee takes turns reading from a book. And the person who's the worst at reading and knows the least amount of English, that's the person they put on the drive through window. That's the person because, like, they need to learn English. So what better way to learn English than talk to people all day, right? And so that's what happens. So, like, I get bad stuff all the time with this. I can't see this being any any worse. Reported on Reddit that the machine attempted to order six filet mm -hmm. fishes instead of the intended request of tangy barbecue sauce. Hopefully McDonald's AI has worked out the kinks since then. 
Sometimes it's a cold day and you're a busy parent and you've got your yeah. kids all strapped into your cozy, warm van as you make your way to your favorite fast food joint. That's in right. this scenario, you surely don't want to have to stop in the parking lot, unstrap each child, and then get every one of them bundled back up just to walk inside for two minutes sure. to grab some Happy Meals. This is, of course, why the drive through is one of the most convenient innovations in the restaurant industry. McDonald's is the leading drive through fast food franchise, and its consistently well-run system has undoubtedly brought many smiles to legions of stressed customers. In 2024, McDonald's will continue to draw in people from all walks of life. With yeah, as I said, they, they have 100% revolutionized drive throughs and they are efficiency on drive throughs is better than any other store by a mile. Like, it's one thing for them to say, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. No, no, they do it. Excellent drive through system. Better? And it sounds like we can expect it to become really even so. better very soon. In the company's ongoing expansion project, they're rededicating themselves to investing in their drive through After all, an efficient drive through directly increases profits. Changes such as widened areas and the addition of supplementary lanes yeah, can be expected this year. So if you see an under construction sign at your local McDonald's, don't fret. Instead, get excited. It could very well mean that a new and improved drive through is headed your way. Dad, is on fire. Hi, sir. Oh, excuse oh. me. You're number one with the coat? <laughs> Mobile ordering is a great way to select food from the comfort of your home and skip the line, but there can be a downside. If your order is prepared too soon, it may end up sitting in a paper bag or on the counter for too long, Those thus rendering your food acting. just a little too cold for your taste buds. As complaints of lukewarm food have been piling up, McDonald's has taken matters into its own hands by developing a new system for phone orders called Ready on Arrival. After a trial run for this experimental system, the results are in, and McDonald's will continue expanding Ready on Arrival across more locations in 2024. An assistant manager done, offered this, this explanation on Reddit. Your order will pop up on the screen about three minutes before you arrive there. You will only get charged once you get close enough to the restaurant. The system reportedly works with That's the GPS location on your phone. Kitchen employees So it's will like the closer that you are, it's like they have like a, a fucking timing for how long it should take to make the meal. And they make the meal like whenever you're that time away from the restaurant. That's pretty smart alerted to your arrival with enough time for yeah. them to complete your order, but not so much time that they make it too soon. If your local store hasn't implemented the system yet, you can probably expect that to change sometime in the coming year. Loyalty programs are all the rage at so many places of business, mm -hmm. including fast food chains, and it's not hard to understand why. It keeps customers coming back on a consistent basis after all. With thousands or millions of these dependable members, you can almost certainly count on your restaurant remaining afloat if you have an attractive loyalty program. McDonald's reportedly has a whopping 150 million registered loyalty customers to Jesus. its name, and it has no plans to rest on its laurels. In 2024, the company will attempt to draw in even more members to reach its ambitious goal of 250 million over the next few years. Exactly like, how they. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to have an app for McDonald's. Like, if anybody from McDonald's is, is listening to this, like, y'all need to have like an integration with like Uber Eats and like DoorDash. Because I, I don't want to download another app for just McDonald's. Because, like, I, they do. I never have seen it. Because I've ordered McDonald's before. I never got points. Plan on doing that remains to be seen. Yeah. But we'd be willing to bet there's never been a better time than 2024 to join up with McDonald's. No just points. Just look at all the innovations no they point. have on the agenda. If you join, you may very well end up with a full stack of points that you can put toward one of those new and improved cheesy burgers or expanded chicken options very soon. I'm going to be real. Like, McDonald's, like, after I saw what they did with their drive throughs I actually believe that they will make better burgers and make better stuff. Because I've had a car die in a McDonald's drive through Three times. Two different cars. Like, that, that drive through is a fucking graveyard. And I've had to go through this and deal with this shit. I remember one time I pulled up to a McDonald's drive through It was two in the morning. It was me and my mom, and we were getting Cokes because we were going to play WoW together all night. And I pulled up to the drive-thru, and I realized that I could hear the person in the drive-thru really clearly. Like, I could like I could just immediately fucking hear 
uh, like every word they said, I said, what the fuck? Why is, why is everything so quiet? And then I looked at the radio and the radio wasn't on and then nothing else was on. I couldn't turn the steering wheel. And I said, Ma, I think we broke the car. I think the car, the car it just didn't turn on. And that was it. I pulled into the drive through I ordered my fucking drink and the car died. Never turned on again. Ever. That was it. Yeah, that's what it was, bro. You're McLoving it? Yeah, I was. And then the same thing happened recently with another car. I'd be embarrassed as fuck. I was. I was. It was awful. So, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping the McDonald's gets better, man. The app works pretty well. The points and deals you can get are pretty good. I just don't want another app to make my phone vibrate to tell me that there's a sale on something that I don't want. Like, I get this all the time. Like, I, I got DoorDash and Uber, and it will, like, give me a push notification. It's like, hey, by the way, did you know that, um, <laughs> did you know that thing that you don't care about? Well, guess what? Uh, we're here to talk to you about it again. Turn off notifications? Yeah, but it turns itself back on sometimes. It's fucking annoying. Turn them off? Yeah, I've turned it off twice. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, it has for me. Maybe it's because I updated it. Not an iPhone? Yeah, I don't have an iPhone. But yeah, McDonald's really has been, uh, you know, it's been improving at least a little bit, right?